She sells seashells on the seashore. The shell seashells are seashells on shore. So if she sells seashell shells, then I'm sure she sells seashell shells. Many of us know at least the first line of Terry Sullivan's 1908 Tom Twister. Sadly, not much is known about the woman behind the rhyme. Mary Annie, the woman whose work would change the fundamentals of scientific understanding of the history of life on Earth and eventually create a new discipline, the science of paleontology. What is paleontology, I hear you ask? When most people think about paleontology, they think about dinosaurs. But that's not really all it. Fossils are basically dead animals and plants pressurized under layers of mud and rock. Eventually, the skin rots away. After millions of years, the bone erodes away leaving a rock remnant. To truly understand why Marianne was such an influential and extraordinary person, you need to understand the belief and role of woman at the time. Firstly, the belief at the time was that the earth was created in seven days, six to 10,000 years ago. Secondly, the role of woman at the time was to stay at home and look after children. I'm going to make a few quotes here to truly understand what it was like to be a woman in the 18th and 19th century. This quote is from William Thompson, 1775 to 1833. The marriage codes of all nations, even the most civilized, render women in effect the slaves of men. What? Wives be subject to your husband as you are to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is head of the church. This is from the Bible and the Old Testament in Ephesus 5, go on, 22 through 23. Nature herself has decreed that woman should be at the mercy of man judgment. This book is from Ruth Lane, so if I pronounce your name wrong, 1712 to 1778. The last quote here is from Samuel Johnson, really popular name, 1709 to 1784. Nature has given woman with so much power that the law has wisely given them little. Whoa. So, in brief, women were excluded from the electoral process, women were denied the opportunity for, of pursuing most of the professions open to men. In the eyes of most men, the rightful place was in home. Whereas dutiful wives, they would produce some raised children. After reading these quotes, it made me feel quite angry. Because, like men, women are humans. They have curiosity, they have things they want to do, they have jobs. They have lots of stuff they want to do. And they're no different from men. Even women can be, become great scientists. Even women can become great writers. Even women can become great poets. So, is there any reason to really exclude them? So, anyway, back to Mary Anning. Mary Anning was born in 1799 and died in 1847. When she died, Will Charles' grandfather was actually 13. Mary Anning lived in Rhine Regis in Britain along the Dorset coast. In 1800s, where Mary Anning was one, she was carried by three women in a field where lightning struck them. The three women died, but Mary Anning survived. People say it sparked her imagination and cleverness inside her, but the problem is, how do you judge cleverness in a one-year-old when 
Any word they say could be any word of any language. Going back to the belief of the time. Remember, they say the earth was created in seven days, six to ten thousand years ago. Well, Mary Anning just threw that all in one go, along with all the other fossils he found. Walking along the Dorset coast, Mary Anning found a discovery that shook the foundations of science itself. She found the first ever fossil of the Ichthyosaurus. Ichthyosaurus come from a group of marine reptiles called Ichthyosaurus. Ichthyosaurus has a large eye with a big mouth. Seriously, it was pretty long, like a big French bread with lots of spiky bits. They have fins like a, like a normal fish and swim pretty fast. They can swim over 30 miles per hour, which is pretty fast. Anyway, going back to Ichthyosaurus. The Ichthyosaurus fossil dated back to the Jurassic period, which is a whopping 145 million years ago. Then the question rises. How do you know if it's 145 million years ago or 206 million years ago? Well, there's two main methods, carbon dating and oxidation. Firstly, carbon dating. Carbon dating says the further back you go, the higher the carbon levels are if there's not any interference like coal factories or nuclear power plants, which obviously wasn't there at that time. So, if you match the carbon inside the fossils to the, car to the carbon at that time, then you know it was from that specific time. Oxidation. This is pretty much like carbon dating, but you use oxygen from the atmosphere. You match the oxygen levels in the fossils or rocks to the atmosphere at the time, then you know if it was from that specific time. So with this discovery, Mary Anning proved that the Earth couldn't be created six to 10,000 years ago because this is our fossil dated 145 million years ago, which is not six to 10,000 years ago, obviously. So that proves there were things living over 100 million years ago. Sadly, because of the role of women at the time, Mary Anning got no credit for her discoveries. And gentleman who came to a shop bought the fossils and published them as their own discoveries. She only got a real reward in 2010 when I was four. She was placed as third position in top three influential female scientists. Number one was Mary Tewley. Number two was Bridget Spotter, which I know sounds from someone from Harry Potter. That's probably where Harry Potter got a name from. And number three was the one and only Mary Anning. What I really like about Mary Anning is that without her, my interest in dinosaurs and paleontology would be extinct and pretty much everyone else's. Secondly, she sparked the great dinosaur rush. And no, that is not raising dinosaurs because dinosaurs were extinct 65 million years ago. The great dinosaur rush discovered 147 new, new dinosaurs. Thanks to Mary Anning, I have my top 10 dinosaurs. Number 10, Dreadnoughtosaurus. Number 9, Apatosaurus. Number 8, Brachiosaurus. Number 7, Argentinosaurus. Number 6, Mamantiosaurus. Number 5, T-Rex. Number 4, Yangochanosaurus. Number 3, Baryonyx. Number 2, Allosaurus. And number 1, the biggest Carnivorous dinosaur ever discovered to date, Spinosaurus. And as the name suggests, he has a humongous spine. 
which is only five feet tall. The reason why he chose Spinosaurus as number one is because of his special features. His claws can rip a car apart. His mouth is bigger than a crocodile. And he eats an apex predator of the sea for breakfast. Now take that on, T-Rex. Mary Anning will forever remain a source of inspiration for the young generations of people out there. Because, firstly, she was from a poor background. Secondly, not much was expected from women. They were supposed to look after the house and family and raise children. Third, she went out in place where she could die. There was one particular situation where her dog, Trey, died at her feet because of a mudslide. Four, she was self-taught, like totally self-taught. She also caught open animals and fossils to see, to teach herself anatomy, which I know is gross, but she had to do it. Don't feel bad for the animals. She became such an expert that gentlemen from other areas came to her to verify information regarding fossils and anatomy. Long live Mariani, the greatest fossil hunter and paleontologist ever.